guys welcome back to the channel this is your girl fabulously coming to you with another video so i wanted to show you guys how i achieved my sexy pixie cut full sewing weave um this um hair can be called tara hair it can be called quick weave it can be called 27 piece whatever way you call it it is usually done with glue um using a stocking cap most people make a wig um, using a mannequin hair with the glue and a stocking cap and then place the cap on their head either way i just wanted to show you guys that yes it can be done with a full sewing weave and if you wanted to know how to do it on yourself this is how i does it so let's get started okay so the first thing we're going to talk about is the hair that i'm going to be using this is the hair i always use for my tara hair and this is what i recommend to clients um this is the saga brazilian remy hair i love the roll up um texture of this hair it's very soft and very silky um it comes in three different lengths it has a six inch a four inch and a two inches um, um, curl up together around the roll um, this is 39 pieces you can use regular Tara hair that has the 27 pieces is your choice but this is the Saga Brazilian Remy is 100% human hair and it's 39 pieces it comes with a free closure and the color is 530 okay so now starting off with our braiding partner um this is the braiding partner that i usually use for myself um to do this on myself and i feel it's an easier way to give me a flat um surface in the back that my pixie cut has a nice little transition from the bumpiness in the middle of my hair to a very flat surface um towards the nip of my head I start off with three braids going across my neck or across my nip area. This gave me a nice little even flat surface in the back. Okay, now that I have my three transitional braids braided down neatly in the back, I'm going to start to braid the rest of my hair going back. I like to use this braiding technique for my pixie cut because this braiding technique automatically gave me that hump or that bump in the middle of my hair that all pixie cuts have. Okay, so now that our braiding pattern is complete, as you guys can see, I'm braiding this way using this technique and um, attaching every tail braid to the next braid helps gives me this nice little hump and it gives me a smooth transition that I can go from a little bump in the middle of my hair to the flat surface um, in the back or in the nip of my head. This is why I always use this braiding technique. Okay, next um, we're going to apply our weaving net. Now, while applying my weaving net, just to help my tracks lay down even flatter and neater in the front of my hairline, I'm going to uh, extend the weaving net a little bit um, above my hairline before I take my needle and thread to sew it down. This will just help my tracks lay even flatter and even better once I apply um, the tracks to my head. Okay, so once I sew the weaving net down, I took a pair of scissors and I cut off 
all the extra pieces. This is how the weaving nest looks once it's applied. Okay, so starting off with my first track, I'm gonna be taking a single track. I doesn't want my hairline around my pixie cut to look um, boggy or thick. I want a really natural looking, smooth um, looking pixie cut. So I'm gonna take just one single track and this is the middle track. This is the four inch track. Um, if you want it long, if you are doing this on yourself and you want the track long, you can use the six inch or if you want it shorter, you can use the four inch. But I'm taking the middle track, which is the four inch. And I'm going to apply one track around my ear from one ear to the to my other ear going around my entire parameters of my nape. I'm doing the under stitch so in. The under stitch so in goes, um, you take your needle and thread and you go underneath the braid and you apply the stitch, the needle um, under the braid um, and comes through the webs. I hope this makes sense, but as you guys can see, as I do the stitching, this is how I make my um, sew-in to look really nice and flat um, around the hairline when it comes to a pixie cut. Now, another thing about doing um, this first track method like this um, cutting in the back of your head can be really um, challenging or tedious to get done once you have your sew in. But doing this method, as you guys can see, it already gives me an even, um, clean cut in the back that I don't even need to apply any scissors um, in the back to get an even, clean line. This is some of the reason why I always um, do my pixie cut method um, starting this way. Now that I have my first tracks um, sewn down nicely, I'm gonna start to double the track and I'm using the four inches um, tracks. I'm gonna use double tracks and I'm going to go across um, my nip just like the way my braids are, I'm going to go um, three um, tracks on my braids and then I'm going to go three tracks in between my braids. This will give me a nice thick um, surface in the back that is um, very consistent. It's not too bulky, but it's not thin at all. <music> okay so now that i have my back sewn down really nicely as you guys can see it looks even back there i don't even need to take scissors and to go in to cut anything back there because it's going to be hard to use the scissors this is why I use this um, sewing technique and this braiding technique. Moving on to my sides, like I did the back, I'm going to apply a single track again and I'm going to do the understitch method to both sides of my ears. This will help my sides and my corners of my ear lays really, really flat and really, really nice. Oh, 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 oh,
now that my um, sides of my corners are sewn down nicely flat um, to my um, ears I'm going to start to double up my tracks and I'm going to be using um, three tracks this will give me that really nice thick volume on the top that I'm looking for it's not going to be bulky but it's going to be nice and full I'm going to um, double up the tracks um, using the six inches um, in the pack um, and remember I used two packs of this hair but I did not use the shorter length which are two the two inches so I didn't use the two inches I just used the four and the six inches and I double up my tracks now um, for this part of this so in to close up the front give me that nice volume on the top I'm just going to go in around circular motion um, sewing um, the tracks down until I get to the middle of my head Okay, so now that our circle is very small, it's about the size of the closure piece. As you can see, each pack of this hair came with its own closure, which is very nice and great. I don't have to close this up myself. Um, I'm going to, what I noticed that the, the closure lays, the net around the closure was a little too big. So I took a pair of scissors and I just cleaned it up a little bit. I cut some of the net piece off so it fits exactly into um, the circle and you can see it's smaller now it's the exact size of the middle part and it's going to fit really nicely so I'm going to apply it and continue taking my needle and thread and I'm going to just sew around it um, and this will give me a nice finish um, sleek flawless um, closing this is why I love to apply this closure piece at the end <laughs> Okay, y'all, we are finally done with our full sew-in pixie cut. Now, if you are like any other person and you don't like that much of a styling, you can rock it like this. It do need a little bit of cutting, but as you guys can see, it's full, and I didn't even get to cut the back. The back is nicely even and, and nicely trimmed already. Um, but I'm not going to leave it like that. You guys know me. I'm going to um, try to style it myself. And now with the styling, the first thing I'm going to be taking is my pair of scissors. And I'm going to clean up and trim up around my ears. Just gave me a nice little um, sleek edge around my ears. Like I said, I'm not going to be able to get to the back too much, especially around my nip. That is the reason why I uh, apply my first track 
in the first place so I'm not going to cut the back but I'm definitely going to cut around my ears and shape it up and then I'm going to take my razor using very slight light strokes because I don't want to cut deep into this hair I just want it to look really nice and natural around the hairline so I'm using light strokes with my um, razor I'm going to um, shave around my ear part giving me that nice um, flawless natural look <laughs> And now that I'm done cutting, I think I like the style right now. If I have to go in to cut or razor cut a little more, then I will do that later. But right now, I like the style. I'm going to take some styling mousse. This will just help get rid of the curls that's already in it because I do want the size of my ears to be as flat as possible and the back of my neck, my nip to also be um, flat. So I just apply just a little bit of styling mousse. I don't want a whole lot because I'm not going to sit on a dryer. I don't want the hair to be wet. I just want to remove the curls that's already in it. So I took a little bit of styling mousse and I applied it to my ears and in the back of my head. After applying a styling mousse um, around my hair, I took a little bit of my favorite serum for hair and weave. I um, apply a little bit on the top. This is like coconut oil mix serum. And just to add a little bit of nice little shine. And as you guys can see, the hair already looks very beautiful just the way it is. But I'm just going to take my small flat iron and I'm going to add a little bit of curls um, around the whole head just to give it a nice little style and as you guys can see this is just me applying the flat iron to make my own little curls and this is pretty much it for this video I absolutely love the way this turned out I love doing this sewing because my sewing lasts long I can keep my sexy pixie cut in for a while without worrying about the glue getting tacky or sticking or the glue damaging my hair. This is the reason why I really like to do my full sewing pixie cut. But that is pretty much it for this video. As always, I love you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, subscribing to my channel. As always, um, to my old subscribers, you guys know I love you. You guys rock. My new subscribers, I hope you like what you see. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is it for this video. As always, I love you guys. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye-bye.